Yeah. 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 It's Game Club. It's Game Club, where we're talking about our favorite mayonnaise and our favorite sandwiches. It's, it's just dumb that they put the tomatoes on and then they do the oil and vinegar because it just bounces right, right. off the tomatoes. Absolutely. I mean, tomatoes they, have holes in them. They've they, yeah. they they got to put the oil and vinegar under the bread yeah. before they do everything yep. else. Yep. Well, yep. Then you just get really soggy bread. you got to eat it right, right away. Then you eat it right you away. You can't take it to go if it's got oil no, and vinegar. No, oil and vinegar, you just get it right over the top of all the stuff and then it kind of no, seeps down It just goes off the, of it, though. Yeah. It's just running off the sides. It's like you have rain on yes. your fucking sandwich. <laughs> exactly. And it just... Anyway, <laughs> welcome club. to Game Club. Just get mad. We're actually going to be talking about games, specifically... The Stanley Parable. It's actually, our whole sandwich talk is actually like a deconstructed it's idea true, yeah. of what a human life is. Well, it's a, it's an examination of the sandwich experience. Right. And all of the choices presented when it comes to <laughs> exactly. dealing with sandwiches. That's what we planned it. That's how we set this up. I'm just hungry because Ryan took so long. Uh, <laughs> we got some Ruby, uh, Rudy's over there. You some oh, oh you look at you eating fucking lunch and I'm over here starving. Anyway, Gus knew so the Stanley. I'll, I'll eat some after this. The Stanley Parable started as I, I feel like I've got so much space. I know. It started as a mod for Half Life Two, uh, and it's now its own standalone game, uh, which you can get. Uh, I don't know all the platforms it's on. I played it on Steam. Yeah, we mm -hmm. played on Steam. Uh, but it's uh, it's I fifteen dollars. Determined that was it. It is on Steam. Oh, is that yeah. it? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's a game where you play someone in an office and there's a narrator talking about your life and he narrates the choices that are presented and it's just like there's no combat there's nothing really to the game other than like walking around exploring the space yeah it's, a, it's very gone home yeah it's a game about choices i mean entirely about choices well, including up to the point of do you embrace the narration and the narrative that's being laid out or do you just completely say no that's not what i'm going to do and go the opposite direction Right, so the narrator, for example, might say there are two doors in front of him. He chose, you know, the person chose to go through the right door. And you may say, well, fuck that, and go through the left. There are, um, <laughs> I, when I first started playing, I texted you, but you, didn't, you probably didn't see it. Um, when I first started playing, the mouse wasn't working, so I could only, like, I was only looking you one direction. Straight. And I was like, maybe this is part of the game. So I played for, like, five minutes like that. And I was like, <laughs> Ashley, is this how it's supposed to be? And she's like, no, it's broken. So I just shut it down and restart it. I, you know, you, you never know. You made a good first choice. You never know. Shut it down and open it again. I, uh, I, I, I did something, so not on the Stanley Parable, but on an old game years ago. And there was an Xbox 360 game that came out. And when I was playing it, my character just kept shooting nonstop. And I was like, okay, that's a weird mechanic. I guess your character's just always shooting. And, <laughs> and you just point your character where you want, you know, stuff killed. And then I realized, oh no, the controller's broken. Like, the trigger <laughs> is just constantly pulled. Like, I played like the first hour and a half of that game. <laughs> and somebody else saw me like, why are you always shooting? Like, oh, is that not the game? Yeah, oh shit. <laughs> Did you never run into a friendly and wonder why you're just pegging no, no, him in no, the no, head? It was, okay. it was, it was uh, that, that terrible game, Wet. Mm. Uh, so there was not much, much lost. But, um, <clears throat> so Stanley Parable, I think the, uh, it's 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 fine. I'm, I was a little frustrated. I felt like the choices that you're presented with don't have any huge impact. Like, so for the, well, the example, they like, do. well, they take you there's like story 20 paths. different endings, right? Yeah. But it's like in the end. So like they 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 tell you like for example, there's an example like there's two doors, a right door and a left door, and then regardless of what you choose, I feel like you're you're just getting to the ending. I don't know. I felt like there should be more choice. Like, there, you should have been able to break out. Like, do something that there is no narration for. I but mean, you can't I guess even that's... just reverse coursing. Some, I think at some points, what the not thing to do is just leave. Like, you just turn around and go the opposite direction. Well, sometimes that is a, you're able to do that, and sometimes you're not. Like, for mm -hmm. instance, at the very first corner, it said... He goes through the left door, and I didn't go through the left door, or whatever. I ended up going down to the basement where there's that car, and then that becomes a loop, and you can't go backwards. Like, mm -hmm. you're stuck in the loop. Once you're in the loop, you're stuck until, like, you hallucinate stars, and you levitate, and all that. <laughs> and then you just die. Yeah. And did they all end up with him dying? Like, he just dies no, in every, no. every one of them? Oh, I, all of mine died. I died in all of them. So I don't think I ever had one where I died. Really? Yeah. I died when I went to the basement, because it's like he starts hallucinating, mm -hmm. and then he just dies. And then I went... Up to the break room, but then I went into like this weird loading bay, and it was like you have to call her. Mm -hmm. Like this has all been about this isn't about you, Stanley. This is about her. And I was like, ooh, what is this going to be about? And then I was on the phone with a room, and it was a girl who was like, I'm going to make you dinner. And then she was a mannequin, and then the narrator was like, Ha ha, I'm just kidding. There's no woman. No one loves you. <laughs> And then it became like, as I pressed more buttons, it was like, you're in your office still. Like, why don't? And then he was like, 
stop pushing buttons. But then I would choose not to push the button and nothing would happen. Like it would just, t like nothing would happen. I Time would go by. I think there's, uh, is, I think there's a Steam achievement. One of them is to like, try to open a locked door a hundred times or something. It's like, there's a door, uh. there's a door that you can't open. So they do that a lot where mm -hmm. they'll put something in front of you and tell you not to do it. But then in the end, you get rewarded for doing yeah. it. Yeah, although when I got into the one that was like the girl who opens the door to the apartment and it's the mannequin or whatever, and he's like fucking with you, I back, she opened the door and he was like, ha ha, there's no woman, I've been fucking with you. And so I backed out and was like, screw this, I'm going down the hall. And he like collapsed the hall onto me and was like, no, you're stuck in my story now. <laughs> and I was like, well, so great. I can't do anything with be stuck in your shitty story. In that way, I felt a lot of, uh, it reminded me a lot of like Portal and Portal 2, like the, the, uh, dynamic between Shell and the Gladys. narrator and the yeah. character. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. like what's going on in, in the game. So, Except uh, there are not really any puzzles to solve other than, uh, I mean, the puzzle of this game is what sequence of events leads to what ending. Yeah. And does make it, you're going to basically be confronted with a series of choices, and the choice that you make will result in a different ending. You, it doesn't, there's not a lot of flexibility in those choices. They're all, in a way, very linear choices. It's like it's a, it's, they're not like branches that you may possibly recombine with other paths and then or go different directions. It's like this choice, this choice, this choice, this choice will lead to this outcome. Yeah. Um, it, like, I get it's kind of a, amusing at times. It's a um, very interesting game. I don't know that it's a fun game. I would say I don't know if it's a fun game. I do think it's an interesting game. It's an experience. I will say definitively, certainly not worth fifteen dollars. Not worth fifteen dollars. I feel like I thought a five dollars. Five would have been fine. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's okay if you see it on a Steam sale for five bucks. Yeah. Pick it up, play it, uh, play it. Experience um, it. Yeah, I think you know. All told, if you you know, depending on the choices you make, you can probably get start to finish like not, mm -hmm. not a death, but an actual conclusion. Yeah. In, an hour and a half. Oh, interesting. Because I played for twenty five minutes and I got two deaths. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's... You, did either of you ever do everything you were told to do? No. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Because I, I tried. I couldn't stop myself. Every time he was like, "Do this," I'd be like, mm -hmm. "Like I never do what I was told You're to do." You're immediately contrarian. Immediately. Mm. The only choice I ever made that he told me to make was going to the meeting room once after I'd visited the break room. Mm -hmm. But then, you know what I mean, like. I mean, people love to wax philosophical about this uh, game in that it's, you know, very thoughtful and makes you think about game design and things like that. And it's like, well, yeah, but at the end of the day, did you have a good time doing it? Yeah. And, yeah. It's an yeah. okay time. Yeah. It's when not bad. When did it come out? Uh, I think 2013. So it may be in its time. It was more, like, we, did we have Gone Home then? I don't think so. I think that was 2014. Might, might have also been this 2013. Or end of, tw very yeah. end of 2013. I think actually yeah. the mod first came out in 2011, and then it got released as a standalone in 2013. Yeah, so maybe, like, in 2011 it was, or... It was definitely one of the earlier experience games. Yeah. Uh, like, of the modern variety. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, and so and, and I, 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 I I get why it's compared to Gone Home. I mean, it's very much the same thing. There's no like combat. It's you know experience the story. But I thought you know Gone Home does it much better. I feel I like the story and the way that everything comes together in Gone Home. There should be better. an achievement in Gone Home for trying to read the dirty story about your sister a hundred times. You can't. <laughs> it doesn't let you do that. You got to put it down. Oh, I tried to blurt out. I forgot. No, it's like she starts reading it. She's like, and then I took off her. Oh, I don't want to read this. <laughs> and then I'd be like, like. Try and pick it back up. She's like, I'm not picking it up. Like, she gets mad. <laughs> Seriously, you're a perv. Stop Seriously, it. Seriously, it's my sister, you freak. Which, in this context, is her yelling at herself. <laughs> We're oh ready to shit. pick a new game. So, yeah, eh, pick it up if you get it on sale. But otherwise, mm. What will it be? I have a cylinder song. You want some tongs? Song. Song. Song that plays while I pitch. Well, I used to do the song, and then I was told that it would be done, and it never happened. Community suggestion, Tower of Guns. Sounds intriguing. Tower of Gun. I wonder, is it a tower defense, or is it just like a literal tower constructed of 45 magnums? We're going to find out. And other guns. It's guns. No, just 45 magnums. <laughs> Right. And it looks like this. It's, I'm support. I'm building it right now in my mind. Why are you building so willy nilly? Look, uh, it's a loose framework of 45s. It's just, that will eventually. It's. You, I be, feel like it's very helter skelter at this moment. I don't feel good. Don't about question it. my structural engineering, okay? <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time for Tower Guns. Oh, this one's loaded.
Do 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 do.